Imagine turning a simple telegram game into a crypto sensation in almost overnight. That's exactly what happened with my app. In just 30 days, we went from almost zero to 25,000 active users. Want to know how? Stay tuned, because I'm about to break down the exact strategies that sent our user count skyrocketing. So enjoy. In the last couple of months, I've been really paying attention to the Telegram mini apps platform, as there were a few projects that really caught my eye with their game mechanics and some of the world records that they were able to set. So I started digging into the realm of Telegram mini apps and discovered that it's actually not that hard to make one. And I really like the idea of a community, so I decided to make a game, which is a virtual crypto city, where users can earn coins by completing daily tasks and playing mini games inside of the app. I started with a basic mockup in Figma, and from there I was able to build an app that you can play without installing extra things or creating new accounts. When doing the launch, I was thinking about that it is a good idea to use the viral effect of other apps because a lot of projects actually gave money to their users for playing their games. So audience was already looking for next games to take a part in. And I just needed to find a way to get in front of them. With that, we first tried to run ads on Facebook and Instagram, where it'll be a promoted post or a story that users would see that will capture a note that there is a new game on Telegram called Cryptoville. But our numbers weren't that good at all. Here's a quick preview of the results that we were able to get there. As you can see, the numbers actually aren't enough for the ad investment to work for that project. So I thought, what if we create a reel? Would that help us to get a higher engagement from the users? So I decided to try to boost a post on Instagram. But after testing our ad with the reel... So basically, there is a crypto game on Telegram called Cryptoville. If you install Telegram and open this game, you will get coins from the game. It's like airdrop or free tokens. And we'll give you 1,000 coins now. Are you up for it? So now you have 5,000 coins in our game, plus here's your 1,000 coins. Enjoy! So there you have it, you have 5,000 coins. So if you go to drop stab, you can collect even more. Well, before you wait for these coins to go up, you already have your first right. cryptocurrency money. That didn't convert really well either. So I thought, what if we try posting the same video and getting an ad this time on TikTok? And I was right, we got a much better result with a click-through rate and just a higher engagement overall. But there were a few quite important issues with that. So Telegram is really popular in the certain amount of countries. But the problem is that you cannot target most of those countries via TikTok ads. And even though we got a pretty decent click-through rate, we still faced an issue where a lot of those users that were clicking on the ad weren't actually converting into active users. The issue was that a lot of these ads were shown to the people that either didn't have Telegram or once they clicked on the ad, they saw that, oh, I actually need to go on the external app from TikTok. It still weren't converting really well after the user clicked on the ad. So at that point, I had enough and I decided to try to buy ads only on the platform that people already are using for the game which is Telegram. So I started looking into Telegram channels. I find out that there are a lot of different platforms that allow you to buy ads from Telegram channels and you can see their stats of how many new users they're having, what is their engagement, how many followers, and the most important part that you can also see what is the price for an ad placement. So that saves a lot of your time and actually guarantees you some security when buying new ads. And so at first I decided to try to buy ads on different random channels that had a lot of followings like news channels on Telegram and their prices were actually pretty cheap. And of course, besides the news channels, I also decided to buy some ads from crypto channels on Telegram and they had a much better conversion of click through rate, but the prices were two to three times higher. And so I was trying to find channels that were not too big, like 5 to 10k followers and were themed around other crypto games on Telegram. And with Telegram channels, it was the first time that we felt like we finally have some straightforward metrics where we can see our prices for user acquisition and the numbers are finally starting to work. And the numbers at that time would wear I at 120 to 80 cents per user. But those numbers weren't good enough for us to even grow this project to the first 10,000 users, since we're not monetizing it yet. So we decided to try to partner with some larger channels and people in that niche, where they would help to promote our app in exchange of either coins or some extra benefits inside of our game. And that really helped us with the initial growth. And that's how we got our first 1000 users. By the way, if you want to create your own app and are working with blockchain or other crypto projects, you should check out getblock.io. 
It is a great service for accessing full blockchain nodes without the hassle of running your own infrastructures. They support major networks like Ton, Ethereum, Bitcoin, BNB Chain, and more. Whether you're building decentralized app, running analytics, or testing transactions, GetBlock makes it easy and reliable. Plus, they offer both free and paid plans, so you can scale as your project grows. So it's definitely worth the look. I'll leave the link in the description. Go now and get your 30% off. Now back to the video. From that point, we actually applied also to the official Telegram ads that are shown inside of the Telegram platform. So the way that it works, you can pay Telegram directly and select in which channels do you want your ad to be shown, since there is no other way to target people on Telegram. And after almost two weeks of waiting, we finally got our ad approved. And we decided to test it with a small budget for a CPM. But for some reason, for the first couple of days, we had almost no interactions where we would put the minimum budget and for the next couple of days, the Telegram would actually be spending maybe 8 to 20 cents per day, which was extremely slow and would get us like 5 clicks a day. And only after changing the CPM a couple of times, we finally found the fit that worked for us pretty well. And we started getting our users pretty much immediately. Another big factor that really helped us with our growth was partnering with other big games on Telegram. For example, there is a big game on Telegram that has a couple of million users, so you can pay them to be listed on their list of tasks, where if the user clicks on their task, which is to open your game, they'll get a reward in coins from the game that they came to. So that's shown to be one of the best ways for us to get users, where our price for user acquisition went down pretty much by 10 times. And after optimizing our ads on Telegram and getting more and more ad space in the right apps, we finally were able to get predictable pricing for each user that we would get to open and actually interact with our app. Besides all of that, our app itself also has a friends tab where you can invite other people and get rewarded for doing so. Where right now about 20 to 30% of all of our users are coming via referral system. While you can create a separate app and get a traffic directly on it, it seems like using platforms like Telegram makes perfect sense. And for that, there are a couple of reasons. Number one is that these apps are all about the community and getting this viral effect. And what is the best way to host your community if not on the same platform where you already have this app? Number two is the fact that most of the people that are interested in these games, they already have Telegram installed on their phones. And number three is the fact that you don't need to register or create new accounts. So that saves a lot of time and causes these extra steps that those users would normally have in other apps. One of the biggest challenges for an app like this is user retention. And for that, we've implemented a few things like daily streaks, where you'd have to open an app seven days in a row to get an extra bonus. Or things like mini apps, where you actually have to go and play a game before you get your bonus. In the future, we also plan to use things like built-in notifications where we can remind our users about the app, which should also increase the retention. As for many of the users, your app could be one of the 20 apps that they already use. So you really have to fight for the attention of the user, whether that is a better design, a better community, better rewards, or everything at once. Because once you figure out the acquisition, the next problem is retention. Now that we have some traction, it is much easier to partner with other apps where we can offer them a place in the list of our tasks in exchange for their ad place in their list of tasks, where users will be able to get ours and their coins, which creates this viral effect of partnering with others so you can get more popular and you can partner with even more people and get even more popular and so on. In terms of our vision, we're planning to create a full roadmap of the projects where user will be able to see the progress and can vote or add on to the things they want to see in the future. In terms of my key takeaways, I'd say don't be afraid to ask others for help or potential partnerships. And don't be afraid to experiment with your ads. Because for us, to find a place where we can get predictable and cheap price for acquiring new users, it took us almost 10 different tries until we were able to find what really works best for us. So what you should do is just simply try and learn from experience of others in that sphere. And after some time, you'll definitely find what really works for you. So keep on exploring and keep innovating. So I want to say thank you for watching the video all the way to this point. If you liked it, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And if you'd like to have a more technical tutorial on how to make an app like this, then simply leave a comment and see you in the next one.